So let's take a look at the 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games draw for the 48 kilo weight class. I got the draw pulled up right here behind me. And now let's just jump right into this and I wanna show you guys something. So I did a little bit of pre-work for everybody. The names highlighted in blue are gonna be your seated athletes, okay? One through eight. And I've kinda in red just wrote down their world ranking where they come into the Olympic Games. So these are gonna be their seed positions not necessarily where they ended the year on the world ranking. In a lot of these divisions, the number one and number two are not the selected athletes for their country. So it's just something to pay attention to. But let's jump right into this and let's take a look here at the 48 kilo weight class. So for the 48 kilo weight class, we have the world number one from Kosovo right here. We're just gonna highlight her name, okay? She's gonna be a buy into the first round, but here we go. Let's take a pen, let's grab a black color, and let's just start filling out pool A. So one of the things I like to do when I'm looking at draws is I go pool by pool, and I don't try to consume the entire bracket at once because then you start playing into like certain matchups and certain things. So I'm gonna go Brazil is gonna win here in round one, okay? And then we have Russia, who's competing under the IJF flag due to all the doping scandals in their country, right? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fill it in as Russia, just because I know who that is. And then, ooh, this is a tough one. Italy versus Taipei. Now, a lot of people that don't really know judo that think about like big countries, um, they would just right off the rip, just give this to Italy. But I know a lot of the Taipei players they're Japanese trained, okay? They go to college, they go to high school, they've done judo most of their lives in Japan that are representing Taipei. So this could be a potential upset of a match, but we're gonna go to Italy right off the rip. Okay, so then once we start working our way through this bracket, I gotta, I kinda have to stick with the seed here. So we're gonna bring the seed down. Oh, let's back that up, let's change that color. Let's bring that seed down, I'm gonna go, you know what? Kosovo's winning this match, right? She's a strong player. It just, it is what it is, right? It just, she's the world number one. She's coming into this. I think if the world number one is gonna lose, it's gonna be to a player that has won a world championships or has shown that the Olympics is a tournament that they get up for, okay? And I don't necessarily think that that's the Brazilian player. Nothing against her, just is what it is. Right, so we're gonna have the Brazilian player out. And again, I'm gonna go right into the seed again. And we're gonna go Russia. Russia versus Kosovo. So let's come back over here. Let's fill this out. Here we go. So we have the Russian player also advancing into that other round. Now the question becomes, now we have the seeds duking it out right here to get into the semis, who wins? But I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna stop here in the quarters because these are important matchups to talk about the psychological stuff. So let's jump up here into pool B, right? We have the number four ranked from Mongolia. And then right here, let's just go right into the number five seed, right? From Spain, I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna give Spain that seed. You're gonna see that I'm gonna pick the seeds for a lot of these first matchups. That's just because they're seeded. They've proven themselves time and time again that, you know what, we win matches. So let's take a look at the two other matches on who the seeds are gonna fight in the next round. I'm gonna go, let's go Germany over Chile. And then I'm gonna go Israel over Colombia. Yeah, I'm pretty confident with that. So who are we gonna pick for the next one, okay? This one's a little bit tougher of a choice, right? I think when we're looking at the first matchup here, Mongolia versus Germany, it's gonna be relatively easy. I'm gonna go Mongolia all the way, okay? But we have Spain versus Israel, okay? The Israeli player is a tough player, right? She does medal a lot internationally, so we can't just write her off. So I'm gonna go with the upset here, and I'm gonna take the Israeli player. He's gonna upset the Spanish girl, just because you know what, we're going off pure gut instinct for this. No stats, no nothing. MGL, perfect. So now we're getting into some other matches here. Let's go pool C, billeted right off the rip. Like I'm just gonna fill her out all the way through. I think, ah, uh, 
sorry, looking at this for the first time, I didn't really pay attention to the draw, but we got to talk about this because right when we take a look at that first round, you can't just write her off because look who we got here. We have France. Super important because this is the French girl that beat Billa did um, just a little bit ago. I can't remember where it was, but she does have a win under her belt. So this could be a very tough first match for Billa did, right? So the Ukrainian girl is world renowned. Everybody knows who she is if you follow judo or don't live under a rock. You know, she's that next up and comer, like destined to win gold at this event. But she has had some weight cut issues. I've heard, you know, just through the rumor mill, don't really know her personally. So, you know, this could play an effect, right? Does her weight cut go well? How well has she been able to train through COVID? And then the French girl, same thing, like, you know, what are we gonna see when we see this matchup? But we gotta make a choice. But before we do that, let's go with some more easy kind of selections here and just rip through this. I'm gonna go Portugal is gonna win this match and Kazakhstan versus China. Mm, let's undo that. Let's just fill this in because it's a first round. Let's just see who gets into the tournament, right? I'm gonna go Portugal. And then I'm gonna go crazy here and I'm gonna say China. We're gonna go China for that first one. Okay, so now we're into some other rounds where we gotta get into the event. Portugal versus China. I'm gonna give it to Portugal right off the rip. I have no real reason for that other than it's a seed versus a not seed, but it's what we're doing. It's how we're gonna call it. And sometimes you just gotta go with your gut instinct here. Okay, so we got Portugal versus China. Now the question becomes, Ukraine over France. Is Bilded gonna come back and get that loss back? Or is the French girl gonna upset her again and prove that she's gonna be the next big star here in the 48 kilo weight class? Ah, it's a tough one. I feel like this is make or break it. I'm either gonna look like an idiot or I'm gonna look like a genius. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with my gut here and I'm gonna go billeted. Uh, just because I feel like if you're coming off a loss, right? If you're coming off that loss, you're gonna want that back, especially with the Olympic Games. It's that thing that has been on your site the entire time. I know a lot of the people that I beat at the Olympics had beat me previously, but a lot of your thought, your blood, your sweat goes into this event. And this is gonna be the one you're absolutely prepared for and you're not gonna make any mistakes. So let's go up here into Pool D. Now Pool D, I think we can just kind of like work our way through this, right? We got the pencil, let's just fill it in. I'm not even gonna JPN. And then right through here, I'm gonna go Argentina, right? Olympic medalist, like you don't really have much of a choice. You kind of gotta go with it. So we're just gonna go like that. I don't really care who wins here. Not writing them off, just it is what it is. And then as we're here, let's fill this out. We gotta pick a winner here though, cause I wanna be able to come back and take a look at this. So we're just gonna make it easy and go hungry. And then we got a tough match here, Korea versus Slovenia. Neither one of these girls are, you know, consistent world championship place medalists, but they are some, some people that you do wanna consider. And I think they're equal in strength when you're looking at the matchup. So this could be a toss up. Both of them are relatively tough. The question is, who trained better through the pandemic or who is mentally going to be ready for this match and and who's really looking forward to fight Argentina in the next round. So I think looking at this, I'm just going to I'm going to throw it out there as I'm going to go Korea is going to pull that one out. And then right here moving on, we're just going to go straight up Argentina mostly because She's a medalist. She's medal at the Olympic Games before. She's just, this is her event and she's coming for it. So here we go. Let's back this up a little bit so we can see this in full. There we go. So for the quarterfinals, we have Kosovo versus Russia, Mongolia versus Israel, Ukraine versus Portugal, and Japan versus Argentina for my predictions. Okay, so let's go back up here to the top. The reason why I did it all the way to the quarters because the quarters is like you've made it through the preliminaries and now you're guaranteed to make it into the repercharge if you've lost. And I think 
at this stage, this is when athletes, once they make it into the quarters, they start mentally in their heads seeing the medal rounds, okay? So what happens to some players here, they get stuck because when they see the draw starting to unfold throughout the tournament day, right, Kosovo could maybe not want to fight Israel. So she's already thinking about Israel and then all of a sudden she's forgotten that she has Russia in that round. So then it causes her to make some unforced errors or some mistakes that you wouldn't typically see. So this is just, this is just a good place to just kind of get a broad stroke of like what your medal rounds are going to look like and where the mentality of each player is going to be. So let's just go with some easy ones here first. I'm gonna go, Ukraine's gonna come down. And this is a tricky one, okay, three versus six. It's a little tricky. I'm not sure what the matchups are as far as who's won or who's lost, but I'm gonna give the edge to the Japanese player just because hometown crowd. So let's fill that in really quick and make that a permanent change here. Let's go UKR and then JPN for Japan, there we go. So that's gonna be our semifinal, our second semifinal. But let's go up here to the top where we're looking here. Okay, so now we have Mongolia versus Israel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the seed on this one for the Mongolia matchup, and we're gonna give it to Mongolia. Um, you know what, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go, you know what, Israel's been on point. I'm gonna give it to the Israeli player. I don't know why I'm second guessing myself, but I just feel like I need to. There we go. So we're gonna give that to Israel. I'm gonna come up here. We gotta go with the seed. Number one seed's gonna come through for us all the way to here. I just feel like these, these people, like COVID or not, she was coming. She's ready. She's looking at the Olympic game. So we have our semifinals mapped out here. Let's just kind of pull this all the way over. We have the number one seed Kosovo against the unranked girl from Israel. We have the number two seed from Ukraine against the number three from Japan. Okay, so question is, is who's gonna make the final, right? What happens here? So right off, right off the top, I'm gonna have to, let's see here, let's see here. I'm gonna go Kosovo again. Kosovo is just gonna go for it. They're gonna make it. And we're gonna have a very unusual final because I'm gonna go, Bill Adid's gonna upset. Bill Adid's gonna upset her. Hometown crowd or not, I think she's coming for it. She realizes this might be her last 48 kilo run and she's smelling gold. I think she realizes that if she wins this match against Japan, I think the girl from Kosovo for her is gonna be no problem. So. Let's just go ahead and call it like we see it. And we're gonna go Billa did is gonna be the 48 kilo Olympic champion. But we're not done yet. We have a few other areas of this board that we have to figure out, okay? So let's go ahead and fill this in the way I see it. So we have the loser of 28 drops down here into the rapid charge. So we have Argentina. We have the loser of 27, which is Portugal. We have the loser of 26, which is Israel. And then who did we have losing up here? We have Russia. Wait a minute. Nope, I said Mongolia lost. So let's, let's clear this out. There we go. Okay, so now we're looking at our rapid charge. The other thing that we do in judo, for those of you guys who don't know, is when you lose in the semifinal, you always cross over to fight the rapid charge on the other side. So for 31, right, they already know they're fighting Israel. Right here, they're fighting Japan. Okay, so this is what our rapid charge looks like. Now, the question just becomes, where do we go from here? Okay, who's game day ready? We're gonna go right here with the seeds. We're gonna go Russia's coming over, and I'm gonna go Argentina is like, nope, I'm coming back for bronze. Just is what it is. 
It's my prediction, so that's what I'm going with. Russia here. And now I'm just going to make this quick. We're just going to throw it out here. I'm going to go Japan is coming up. Argentina is continuing its way through. So we have Japan. Let me change that to black. And we have a R G. Okay, so basically the way I have this filled out here, right, is Ukraine, Kosovo, Japan, and ARG are going to be your medalist in the 48 kilo weight class.